Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today what I am doing, I am starting my FIFA 16 career mode with Preston North End. So in case you guys don't know, I did do one of these series last year for FIFA 15 and you guys really liked it and I really enjoyed doing it. So I am going to be doing another one for FIFA 16. So in case you guys don't know, I am I do support Preston North End. I do have a season ticket for them. I'm a massive fan. So that is the reason I am doing this series. And as you can see there to the top corner, Preston have had an absolutely magnificent, just absolutely huge increase in the transfer budget. Last season it was something like 600k. This season it is 2.2 million. So we have a lot more money to work with this season. Obviously we are a division higher now. We are in the championship, which means that the opponent will be a lot tougher but in terms of the money we have to work with we have an absolutely just a ton more than last season and I definitely want you guys to recommend players you think I should be signing in the comments down below I want this to be a very interactive series with you guys so in terms of the difficulty last season I did do it on or I should say last game last year even on FIFA 15 I did do all my career mode on either world class or legendary but I am going to be dropping that down to professional for this until I get used to the game so obviously a new feature that EA have added this season has been pre-season tournaments. So here were the offers I was presented with for where I should do my pre-season tournament. And honestly, I was absolutely astounded by the prizes on offer for these pre-season tournaments. Two of them there offering over 2 million, which is just absolutely phenomenal. That will more than double our current transfer budget, which would be absolutely huge. Maybe we could go out and splash it all, you know, all all 4 million if we manage to win the uh, the trophy. All 4 million on a big superstar player for pr coming in for Preston North End. Obviously, superstar for the championship. So, the one I decide to accept in the end is the one I'm hovering over them at the moment. The one in Denmark, as I think that this one will provide a good challenge for the current squad. So, uh, in terms of our team sheets, I've come up with three team sheets for this season. Basically what I have, I have my first team, my second team, and my third team. So featuring in my first team, I have Pickford, Humphrey, Clark, Huntington, Wright, Welsh, Johnson, May, Garner, and Beckford. So the one position I wasn't sure about for this was the player playing in behind the two strikers. And for this, I decided to go for Stevie May for the time being, and you know, it's between him and Gallagher really, as to who should get that position, leave it in the comments down below, who you think should play in that position in the first team, should it be Stevie May, or should it be Paul, Paul Gallagher, as they're two different players, but both capable of playing there, and two very talented players, of course, Stevie May rated 68 this year, Paul Gallagher rated 66, and obviously we do have an injury there for Bailey Wright, it's not a serious one, but uh, he will be out of the squad for the current preseason fixture, then into my second team, I decided to go for a 4-3-3 formation, still keeping Pickford in net. I've got a four at the back of Woods, Clark, Huntington and Cunningham. A midfield three of Brown, Kilkenny and Johnson. And then a forward three of Doyle, Keane and Gallagher. So I did decide to fit Gallagher into this team. And then in terms of my third team, I have Kirkland, Woods, Clark, Heaton, Anderton, Vermeil, Brownhill, Brown, Reed, Hugel, and Little. So, as you can see there, I do have three teams. And for the preseason tournament, in the group stages, you do play three matches. So, I am going to be testing each one of these squads out for each match. So, my first match, I will play my first team. Second match, my second team. Third match, whatever. You get the picture. So, you may be wondering, if you've not noticed yet, that Chris Kirkland is actually higher, higher rated than Jordan Pickford. Chris Kirkland being our number two goalkeeper this season. And I've decided to keep it like... For, for realism, I am going to be keeping Jordan Pickford as my number one this season, even though he is lower rated than our number two, Chris Kirkland. If you are a Preston fan or do follow Preston at all, you'll know that Kirkland is, is our number two. But that's not to say that he could still get in the team over Pickford. If to say Pickford were to have a run of bad games, and I may then decide to drop him and bring Kirkland in. But for the time being, our number one keep keeper is going to be Jordan Pickford so in terms of our so in terms of our emails here we are just going through them at the moment and the league objective as you can see there the Bailey Wright injury update it's not a serious one uh, obviously it says here that he suffered from a broken ankle at the end of last season but in terms of the start of the season he'll miss a bit of preseason but for the start of the season he should be back in time hopefully fingers crossed then in terms of our actual league objectives for this season what the board expects me to do and uh, they expect me to avoid relegation. So I think that that one will be... I think it's definitely doable. I think that that's our 
game uh, our goal in real life as you're seeing on screen there just pop to that email that is all the objective to avoid relegation so i think that that's realistic for preston and i think that with this squad of players that we have especially on fifa and the money available to us i think that, it, that, that that's more than capable with a squad such as ours so in case you are wondering that you do want to suggest any players to me here's what we currently have we currently have five goalkeepers eight defenders eight midfielders and eight strikers so in terms of strikers i think I'm sorted defenders as well and goalkeepers but get suggesting your midfielders especially centimids in the comments down below as that's the one position I think we need to strengthen so going into our first preseason match of the season now guys the team I decided to go for for this game was the first team sheet that I showed you so on paper really this should be our strongest team so really I was looking to win this match but you know then again this was uh, one of my first games on FIFA and it was the first time that obviously I'd used this team on FIFA and perhaps they be a little bit rusty but we get off to a fantastic start with Jermaine Beckford looking very lively up front his shot is blocked but it then falls to the path of Daniel Johnson who hits it but the goalkeeper makes a good save there to tip it wide of his post there unlucky there from Daniel Johnson definitely a very lively player going forward from midfield he's definitely going to score goals this season I am in no doubt about that but then Still in the first half now, Tom Clark does fantastic, plays the ball up to Joe Garner, Garner does what he does best and holds off a player, then he gets his head up, sees that Jermaine Beckford is arriving in the box, gets a fantastic ball in to Beckford, who slots it into the back of the net. For our first goal of the season, I know it's only in a friendly, but really, that Garner and Beckford partnership is already starting to show this season guys what a fantastic job Joe Garner did there that's what he's all about in this game and in real life he's all about hard work never giving up on the ball and grafting he does fantastic but Jermaine Beckford will take all the plaudits for getting his first of the season in this preseason friendly the goalkeeper should have done better there no doubt about it as he did you know Beckford really did shoot straight at him but he won't care Jermaine Beckford Gets off the mark with his first goal in this preseason tournament, which is always good to see. Then they do come forward here with a chance, but Pickford manages to save easily. Jordan Pickford definitely going to be our number one keeper this season. As I've already explained, trying to keep this as realistic as possible, this series. So, I'm hoping that you guys won't mind that. So, then we do, in the second half, come up with some more chances here. Get a good shot off there, but just can't manage to find our way into getting a second goal, which I sort of struggled with, really, getting the second goal. And eventually, we were actually made to pay for that with an absolute belter into the top corner here I had absolutely no idea what was going on but I was sort of I was trying to push him inside with my defenders which you might have seen there and honestly because I didn't I thought that Pickford would have had a would have had his near post cleared poor slide tackle there from I think was that Paul Huntington it might have been uh, it might not have been but uh, yeah he just nothing I can do about that and he just puts it in the upper Benjamins in the top corner as Spencer FC would say and honestly nothing we can do about that it was just a fantastic goal and we obviously tried to pick ourselves up from there but honestly we just couldn't manage to do it we couldn't manage to find that second goal and I've heard that a lot of people this season have been struggling on FIFA to score many goals especially early on which uh, I think I'll get used to the game but it did actually finish 1-1 which considering we did have our strongest team playing was a bit, little bit disappointing but at the same time you know I was experimenting with things I did bring on a lot of substitutes in the second half I brought on players like Will Keane, Owen Doyle, Neil Kilkenny, Paul Gallagher stuff like that but uh, Jermaine Beckford there as you can see two shots one goals I do like this feature about FIFA after the match they zoom in on the uh, the star player and obviously us being Jermaine Beckford there so we were unlucky a little bit some missed opportunities but I'd say that a draw in the end was probably a reasonable result then obviously a new feature that EA have added for this year's career mode is player training now for this career mode I think that is going to be absolutely massive for us as I'm hoping that this season and this year, I promise I will make this series more consistent than I did last season because I'm definitely more into career mode this year. And I'd say that my overall YouTube skills, I'm able to edit and upload the video faster now. So hopefully that won't, you know, hindrance the amount of uploads. But uh, in terms of the players that I am going to be training for this first week, guys, at the moment, as you can see, I've got Josh Brownhill, Alan Brown and Jordan Hugel in that. I also decided to throw in Daniel Johnson as I'm looking to bring in, um, I'm looking 
looking to train up the sort of younger players. I know Daniel Johnson is a first team player, but I'm always looking to improve him. He's, st he's still fairly young at 22. And then I also decided to throw in Nick Anderton to training as well as. So this, it actually does work. It does definitely grow your players. And I think that this will be massive for this season. So I'm really looking forward to using it. And as you can see there, Josh Brownhill and Nick Anderson actually do go up by one rating, which is very encouraging to see. So we will now go into our second pre-season fixture. Okay guys, so going into my second friendly now, this is the team I decided to go for. I decided to go for my second team for this one, like I said earlier in the episode. So this is a 4-3-3 formation, a slightly weaker team than our first team, but nevertheless a pretty strong team. So we do get off to a good start here with Gallagher having a good chance, but the keeper just manages to claw it away from his goal. And they manage to clear the danger in the end. But yet again, we are starting on the upper hand like we did in the last game. We get another good chance here. Will Keane bursting through on goal, manages to go around his man. He's at a tight hand angle here and he just can't direct his shot into the goal he does hit the side net in there unlucky there Will Keane I think that uh, it's going to be interesting this season what I do with the strikers as I've not really decided yet what I'm you know who I'm going to favor and stuff like that I've got my ideas but you know it there's options there, there's options there, let's just say that, but going into the second half now, we do get off to a fantastic start in the second half here, a nice ball played in there, then Johnson manages to find Kilkenny, who puts it into the back of the net, Neil Kilkenny getting a goal, and putting Preston ahead yet again in this tournament, we do get a 1-0 lead here, some good work from Gallagher here, cutting in from his wing, feeds in Johnson, and then Johnson manages to find Kilkenny of all people, who is lurking in the box like the goal poacher he wants to be, a fantastic finish nevertheless, from the central midfielder Neil Kilkenny who manages to get on the score sheet there the goalkeeper not sh quite sure what he's doing decides to come out and just doesn't really spread himself wide enough to get in the way of Kilkenny's shot but uh, yet again straight after we'd scored they just come at us for the and some really poor defending in general manages to lead to this in the end if you do watch Paul Huntington here his man just manages to spin him and their player puts it into the top corner really disappointing there if you watch it on the replay you'll see that Paul Huntington really should have done better with this and it was a good Paul played in playing a bit of football along the edge but as you can see there the player that Paul Huntington was marking just manages to spin him far too easily there and then puts it past Jordan Pickford into the Preston North End net and uh, I must say one thing, the Preston North End kid, the away kit this year looks absolutely fabulous on FIFA. I just thought I'd point that out. But uh, yet again, we do actually finish with a 1-1 draw. We can't manage to get a goal block to get a goal back and uh, it's really disappointing in the end you know we've had two games so far in this episode and we've managed to get two draws two 1-1 one -one draws which in reflection isn't too bad it shows you know we're sort of solid but uh, that's where it currently leaves us in the group table as you can see we are currently in third and in next episode we are going to be playing the team that is bottom of the group so obviously if we win that match we will, we will go on to five points and hopefully that will be enough to send us through as long as the other two don't draw, one of them wins, then that will see us through. But we need to get a win next episode if we are going to advance to the semi-final and then hopefully in the end to the final. So if you guys were wondering about the fixtures I have for this season, as you can see there, our first game of the season is against MK Dons. And compared to real life, we actually have a pretty easy start to the season. We have MK Dons, Bolton, Bristol City, Fulham and Charlton. By no easy means is, is it easy, but compared to our real life running, it's pretty easy compared to that. So that will wrap it up for this first episode guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like if we manage to hit an insane amount of likes if you really do like it then i'll upload episode two tomorrow after the wolves match but uh yeah so thank you very much for watching guys like i said if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like leave your transfer targets down below and i'll see you all in the next one Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom. Pow, 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 pow. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom.